Hi guys, I think uh, uh, because of my health uh, or rather because of what I like, I'm making YouTube videos um, and I want you guys to like, share and subscribe so I earn some money, come on, seriously. But you know, again, I myself know the quality is bad. Uh, I mean, it's long drawn out. What I do is I write on the description which places you should just, you know, skip through. So anyways, uh, I'll try. I just got haunted here in Kochi. I think I just revealed a mass secret. Okay, so oh, my camera's cut off. Yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, I think, you know, one of the reasons people are unhappy because is they are entangled, including myself, I don't know, entangled, if, if I am as a worker, I really don't care what's my customer speaking about me or whatever. I just want to get through from 9 to 6 and collect the money. If I'm getting paid $10 per hour, I just try to read as much as possible. I don't know if that's illegal. It's slightly uh, unethical. You're not getting paid to, well, yeah, I don't know. You're not getting, pay, getting paid to educate yourself. Although the business gains significantly from an educated employee or a lazy employee. So all I want to do is, I don't know if you call me an asshole or try to start a fight with me. My only objective, let's say if I'm a waiter, is that when you come in, you're comfortably seated. Uh, I guide, I think I would guide people away from each other as much as possible with Corona and everything. Uh, you know, so that the restaurant is, most people who come with family or come alone, just want some alone time and eat their food and go. So I just look, I just ask if the uh, person is comfortable, if he yells something like, uh, you waiters are all the same because I'm mentally ill, uh, I might just slightly uh, think he's pissed, may slightly back off and uh, think about how to serve. Uh, food for him in a way that he's happy and then uh, maybe he'll call me or she'll call me and uh, ask to bring some foods in a way most obnoxious manner upon which I'll start writing because I don't want to get the order wrong I guess I can't remember or whatever and then uh, I just go to the kitchen and make sure it's you know prepared I may even sneak a look at the guy cooking to see if he's doing something you know like spitting or I don't know even worse and if I see that, I don't, you know, I guess confront them. I inform the management or I tell, I don't serve it to the customer without fixing it. I, I'll probably fix it because it's a health risk. Uh, I don't, I, even if I'm getting paid like $8 an hour and I see some spitting going on or let's say something disgusting, one way of fixing it is heating that area. Uh, another way is trying to get it off as much as possible. Another thing is, maybe I'll just inform the customer that the cook spat on it and he'll just inform management and leave the place uh, because he doesn't want to get sick and I think the management will look into, uh, I don't know if there are a lot of fake complaints, maybe you could do this five times as a fake thing before the manager gets on and does something. So I don't know, what do you do, I probably you probably shouldn't employ people who spit on your customer's food in the first place, I guess that's bad business uh, skills. So, I get the idea why they spit, they just want to take their anger on, on some mentally ill person. If you're coming to a hotel and insulting or something, so clearly you have something going on in your life, I guess. Uh, so, that's one thing. And uh, what do you do for mentally ill people? Offer them the best food uh, you can. Hope they go on a good uh, thing. Yeah, but then there's the question of, by behaving badly, that uh, seems to be a social forcing kind of thing. So that person is being badly, so you give them a lesson so that they act nice. Uh, but it's like beating them up. And by beating, especially after the age of 19, you don't beat people up to teach a lesson. Uh, well, after 19, yeah, up to the age of 18, 19, you have punishment methods, social forcing. Uh, by beating, I don't mean physically beating, social forcing. After the age of 19, you just let people who, for whatever, like, they'll encounter life and learn lessons. They don't need lessons from a waiter or anything. 
we just learn it from uh, no actually after 19 you can't teach lessons to people i think it's they are independent so you know that's their life uh, you know they don't learn lessons and do a crap job why would society treat one person as vip treat bad people and treat give them lessons let them go bad i mean that's one eight billion people are going to make sure all eight billion are the best uh, as a waiter as is the best but you get tired very fast you just give the free, freaking food uh, make sure that he doesn't get sick or something because your your hotel may not get you know investigated and you lose your job and then you need to find another job etc etc uh, you just want to work for like two three months collect enough money and leave the place as soon as possible so uh, you'll do what's best for you and the business so yeah even that selfish motive is you have to you may not give with a smile you just you know give them the food and go uh, you know i i find that many place eat reason kochi they have taught the waiters to smile i don't think you should tell people cooking stuff and i don't know why these people are behaving well that's one way food industry one way you can harm a person you know give him uh, uh, i'm not saying uh, yesterday that was the case but uh, and give him bad food so that he learns a lesson uh, so anyways yeah it was weird yesterday i think with communist uh, they're like a, like you know dumb uh, other workers i guess uh, hotel business workers uh, think okay we can hire like 10 people for small money it's better just look at your physics see how many people can stay there comfortably get three people and uh, you know other thing is you know when they threaten i guess you can say yeah, i don't care you can take my life i'm not going to negotiate with evil or anything you know if you are coming up, these palm people have the unique ability to be gross evil you know? probably because they didn't get the best in life uh, they were taking it out on uh, saying i think they should maybe fully consider the pain of a cancer patient or someone without uh, knee and a leg as my mother says i guess so before you know trying to if your brain is damaged staying away from toxicity can heal it maybe i don't know yeah or you should be able to handle toxicity or something so the brain will heal fast so maybe who knows your brain will heal within a week if you stop that same toxic cycling thing okay then that's it 7 minutes 54 seconds on what exactly uh you know your job happiness and satisfaction in life quality of life or something so that's what i would do i would totally not mind the other colleagues no matter how this th- in the pro- problem mob friendship or mentality is there are seven people every person thinks that if they don't go with the mob uh, or the group they'll be isolated better to live in isolation and be happy than you know smile and laugh with the mob and then cry inside when you go back home I don't know. So yeah, that's I think my work philosophy. Uh, wait, first of all, do I do that? I think I may have gone off the work philosophy. Let me think. So I'm. Let's see. What do I do? Writing, science, and activism, and basketball. So writings, I write. Uh, as a writer, I guess my one of my responsibilities to put a beautiful piece of art like. a book or a post at be posting or youtube videos uh, i guess this is not writing more like speaking social critic or something uh, but i do write also so as a writer my responsibility is to put forward ideas or or th- or verbal uh, reasoning or writings that help people uh, or make people think uh, it initially it might seem bad but with some content the idea is a writer has to put out some content once in a while as part of his job i can't claim to be a writer and then or a social critic and then not put out anything uh, as for the quality and all well you are a bad writer or a good writer but you, i still am a writer so as thing and the science is learning facts and uh, things around you and on the nature to come to conclusions about natural phenomena so that scientist and an activist is in his side time job 
um, mostly run for selfish reasons now. Uh, I just want enough activism so people don't harass me. I still have to work on that ad advanced directive, which I keep printing but I lose. I should laminate that stuff. It's very really hard to know in Kochi where businesses are located. There's something called Just Dial, but that's for the entire country, I think. For Kochi, there's no classifier, like, there's no like information website, I guess. Uh, I guess you could just Google it. And that's it. And then, yeah, that's kind of stupid of me. You can just Google Kochi lamination places, paper lamination places. I would like to laminate a few pieces of paper and keep it with me. Some ideologies or rather principles I have found to be helpful. Um, then what else? A few of my certificates and uh, I want to laminate uh, so that it's hopefully a good lamination that will last a lifetime. That's a good business right there, lamination business. A4 size papers laminated for you. Okay, it's getting late. I have to uh, think about my food and how to fix my broken stomach from yesterday. I do believe that it was indigestion compounded by me eating more stuff and drinking more fluids that bloated my stomach. I was worried about heart failure, but today I feel okay. Okay, and I, ha I, I was, I'm worried about heart failure because I've got like 10 episodes in the last five, ten years, five, yeah, let's say last five, six years, I had like 10 to 15 episodes of heart, which were really scary. Like, I don't know, there's something called AFib, arterial, arterial fibrillation. Usually, I mean, it could cause death or it could cause loss of consciousness. You know those uh, electric things you put on your, I think it's rare, you put on your chest and they hit you with high electric shock to get your heart uh, pumping again. Uh, I think CPR won't do it with this for this. I don't know if that's true. Why do you do those machine thing when you can do CPR? Are they the same? I'll check out and tell you guys. But this has been more of a work satisfaction video of, uh, you know, just ignoring everything, get on with your job. Don't meddle too much with the neural events of one person, whether he's famous, not famous, whatever. Uh, you know, that person has their own lives and worries and stuff. Okay, as a worker of low class, um, I guess you call blue collar worker, which I have done, I think. I, I don't know which one it is, white collar, blue collar, I get confused. I think blue collar is, <coughs> uh, you know, uh, skilled labor or something like that. Uh, less about mental ability, more about physical ability. I just bring the chicken and give it or water or food and just give it and go. Okay, yeah. Yesterday I also learned a lesson, always wash your hands. I thought it was like one of those uh, statistical things that, yeah, you are just washing all your hand all the time because one in ten times you'll get an infection. I would say maybe, you know, for a person like me who grew up in uh, some level of uh, money, uh, I could afford to wash my hands with soap. Uh, I also noticed that my mother, when I tell her to wash her hands with soap, she takes that as personal offense. Indians have this unique ability to see things as clean and unclean. So, uh, you know, when you tell someone to wash their hands, they take it as a personal offense that they are unclean in the inside. You know, their souls are unclean. Why are you asking me to wash my hands with soap? Uh, are you saying I am unclean? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Your hand is unclean. Clean it before serving me food. Fucking bitch. <laughs> okay, that end. I don't know, it's a good ending.